but let's try to encourage our young girls let's try to give these situations to god let's not bring it to the internet okay what's up cindy's chronicles boom <laughs> what's up my angels hey, me and sam having a look car bang yeah girl i wanted some nachos so here we got snowball sand yep we were headed to best buy oh excuse me guys we were headed to best buy to get a tripod because mine what is, what is that thing called it was a like a little tripod holder yeah you can't see my bun it's so big y'all gonna be getting a haircut soon because i can't do nothing but put in a ponytail a you bun. should let me get your haircut you okay know, uh, 500 likes and i'm gonna do a surprise haircut it's not a surprise but a, a haircut of my choice let's do it <laughs> you crazy i ain't never touched you. <laughs> nobody you should not let me touch your hair unless it's like a little trim you should let me do let's it. see 500 500 likes. comments likes are easy to get okay 500, 500 comments. comments and i'm gonna let sam cut my hair to my shoulders Look, oh, it has to be my choice okay Sam. <laughs> it's okay. All right, guys. She can kill me. Anyway, so guys, we were riding to the snowball stand to get us a little. Um, Sam had a taste for um, nachos. Nachos. So while we were actually headed to um, Best Buy, we decided to stop here and get nachos. But on the way here, we had a really great topic, and I want you guys' advice. It's been really, really, really concerning me. And I'm going to show y'all some clips in this video of parents bullying their kids. Y'all, that is such a thing. I These hoes, yes, they're my daughters. I didn't gave them chances, but now I'm going to treat them like hoes. These hoes are trifling. Yeah, little trashy ass can barely read, write, or spell. But the bitch can use cuss words. She can barely wipe her ass and got the audacity to try to shake something in a mirror. Yeah, she finna get beat the fuck. I watch it every day and um it is it hurts my heart. It really really hurts my heart and I've been wanting to do a video of on it so bad, but I feel like if I show clips of the parents bullying the kids, then I'm bullying the parents. So now I'm feeling like a bigger like a worse person than they are because you know, if it's on the internet, they're already being bashed. Mm -hmm. Now, my issue and the reason why I decided to address this is because it's happening over and over and over. I think parents see it, they like it, and they feel like it's okay, so they do it. They don't realize it until after they do it and people start bashing them that it's not good. Mm -hmm. So, like, you said you're going to put the clips in, right? I'm going to put some clips in because mm -hmm. I've been running across them every like day. Like, this shit's some type of fucking cute game, right? Talking about some boot up. And your fucking messages back and forth to all these little kids as if that's something I fucking teach you. You don't you, you don't wash your motherfucking drawers. Shit be on there with shit and poop. Just literally wash them. And I mean it's it's heartbreaking. So what's like one of the videos that stood out to you the most about what a parent said to their child? Oh my gosh, it's like five of them. Mm -hmm. And and it seems like the the first thing women go to is, um, you can't even wipe your ass and you wanna be talking to a nigga. I, I don't think I ever told my daughter ever, you can't even wipe your ass. Because if I thought for one second that my daughter couldn't wipe her ass, the first thing I would do is say, baby, come here. Let me teach you how to wipe your ass in private. Yeah, I, you know, think, I think a lot of people now are deciding to do stuff in public and forgetting like how important it is to just, you know, be private, keep your business, you know, uh -huh. under. But now, don't get me wrong. I know that girls can be challenging. Mm -hmm. I know this. God blessed me. Thank you, Jesus. And every th even though things was, wasn't peaches and cream all the time with my daughter, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I tried to understand her because I was once a young girl. So I had times when I had to pop ta ta that ass, <laughs> you know? And it had times when, even after she caught a whooping, we, in private, we sat down and we had talks. It was, it was times when, right after she caught a whooping, we looked at each other, like, the very next morning and bust out laughing because it was like, 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I cut a woman at 18. So how do you feel about this? So some of these parents can argue that, you know, it's a tough world out there. Yeah, absolutely. And they're trying to make their kids have tough skin because if they're babying their kids, you know, the world is not. So what do you have to say if that's their argument, that they're just trying to build their kids having tough skin? Well, you know what? If, if bullying your child that does not make them respect you that makes them think that you are the enemy mm -hmm. so if you bully your child in public then bam the little respect they did have for you is gone so now they're looking to other people for advice and the last thing you want he's ready to take your order hey can i do you want to just split a nacho so you want your own yeah let's split a nacho okay i'm gonna get uh some nacho do you want chili that's fine whatever you get i'm fine with it yeah i like chili get, uh, with chili please and, and then peppers jalapenos on the side so you want uh, chili cheese and peppers on the side mm -hmm. and hey, we should just get a hot dog just because it looks so good when Jade got it <laughs> give us a hot dog you oh wait do y'all have beef hot dogs are you <laughs> certain because she okay, can't you eat can pork they're, you can eat it like oscar meyer you can eat it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna want a hot dog i'm good okay all right so I'll we're gonna have a hot dog what do you want to drink chili and cheese on the hot dog with uh with a few pe oh the peppers already on the side mm -hmm. um what I want to drink. <sighs> Y'all got like a million ices. Um, oh my gosh. Ha ha, look what we got. Ah. Oh yeah, we got to turn it to make sure it's like on both of us. Look at there. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, so. I'll put this right here. Y'all want to see what we got? We got hot Ooh. dog for me. And we got this from the, um, the snowball stand. I think this is like the best one. Well, yeah. you know what makes it the best one? I'm gonna tell y'all what makes this snowball stand the best one. Because me personally, I think that anybody can have a a good snowball stand. But when word get around that your customer service is good mm. and that your food is always good, people like literally our whole city line up and sometimes the line be an hour long for these people snowballs hot dogs and nachos and i personally think that they taste just like anybody else's they look cute. but the couple hot yeah but they do i think i like it because it has so many flavors people are really really nice and they have a drive through before everyone anyone else did right oh y'all look at these nachos yes <laughs> oh so let's bless our food mm -hmm. Father God, we thank you for this food. We thank you for blessing it. We thank you for allowing it to nourish our bodies in the name of your son Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. So back to what we were talking about. Hot dog. Am I weird because I like to eat my hot dog with a fork? No. Here you go. I was gonna say where your fork at? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put it to my mouth to see how it feel to like put a hot dog to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, like, cause I'm always eating it with a. Oh my goodness, I did not get no mustard. You got mustard? I don't. I don't. Yeah, cause you don't really eat mustard like uh -uh. I do. You I'm I a mustard, mustard freak. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, back to the video. So what I was saying was, the last thing we want to do is destroy confidence. You see that is moving. I think that was that, that truck. Mm -hmm. The last thing we want to do is have somebody else giving our kids advice because, you know, some people give them good advice. Some people just tell them what they want to hear. But us as parents, we love our children, and even though we're not perfect, we want to make sure that they feel good enough to come to us. You don't want to destroy your daughter's confidence, make them rebel. You know, whoa, I, I put a, a note in my phone. Hold on, let's see. The last thing we want to do is destroy our our kids' confidence. Um, I can honestly say this, like, my mother... And by all means, she always called me beautiful. She never destroyed my confidence, but she was so strict, I felt like she was unapproachable. And this is why I feel like it relates, is like not having a relationship where you feel like you can come to your parent. Uh -huh. And my mother, she's met her, she's such a sweet lady, but for the longest, so sweet. I felt like, you know, I couldn't approach my mom. And you don't want that kind of feeling for a child, or I'm sure at my, if I told my mom that, she would be heartbroken because um like you know what did i do wrong 
and stuff like that and I'm so grateful that I have someone like you in my life that Aww. she'll be she'll be so honest she won't she won't tell me what I want to hear but going through the process like before I met her and stuff I turned to my friends I turned to you know other people and some people will tell you what you want to hear you mm -hmm. know and it might not be the best for you in the long run I don't so, side with my son by the way y'all she this doesn't is, this is my son's girlfriend I don't believe in it. I don't side with my son. If he wrong, he wrong. If mm -hmm. she wrong, she wrong. I try to stay out their business because they're young adults. Mm -hmm. But if she comes to me and asks for Who's my advice us? on something, yeah, I want peppers. Um, then I'll give her my honest She'll opinion. Just be straight, and even know? if it doesn't side with my son. Mm -hmm. And that's like the type of person that you need. So at the end of the day, like, it's so good to f just mm. figure it out. You pray about it. Like, I know she was going to talk about it next topic. Just pray about it because it's so good to just figure out how to have a good relationship with your kids. To get, at the end of the day, like, you want that for them. Mm -hmm. To have tough skin. To be great in the world. Mothers, go to war with that demon. Pray hard. Let me tell you, raising a daughter or a son is probably one of the hardest things we do because we want to be perfect at it. We want these girls to look up to us and admire us and um, we want to be their superheroes. I know I do. My fear has always been letting my daughter down, not being good enough, not being somebody that she can look up to. I've always wanted to be there for her. So let's do this guys. If you get into a, a, a place where you so mad at your daughter, you just want to bop her head off, bop her head off. You know, don't kill her. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says you spare, you, you, you spare a rod, you lose a child. You know, there's nothing wrong with spanking. Spankings can still happen. Spankings work. Spankings work. <laughs> Sometimes there is. Let's see. Yeah, we all know how powerful prayer is. So stay. Let me get one of those chips. Mm -hmm. Stay yeah, in prayer. It's too big for me. Like go to war. With, with the situation um what are some other things you can do Call, just you talk can, to your kids like of talking course. to some kids don't work we're talking about kids from different aspects because they all not the same you know some people have to prove to their kids that they're not playing with them so right. i would say pray get on your knees in prayer we don't have control a lot of times we think we have control and we don't and sometimes, uh, Janae taught me a lot. When I, when my kids was young, I used to be like, go sit down, screaming and hollering. Don't do that. And she would ignore them. And I'm like, why do they listen to you before they listen to me? It's because she had that, I'm, I'm not about to play with you at her too. You know what I'm saying? She mm -hmm. never whooped them. She never fussed at them. She never cussed. She was strictly just give them a look and ignore them. And they knew that they respect her and they loved her so much. They didn't want to hurt her. So mm -hmm. they would you know not do they knew that again oh they knew what she would tolerate mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna say in this video with this look for other alternatives than bashing your child on the internet um saying she don't know how to wipe her ass or you know saying stuff like putting out her i seen one mother say her drawers in there are nasty right now. No. Yo. Go pull her aside and say that. Or go go bring her some more drawers or something else to wear. Don't mm. embarrass your kids like that. Like, find something else to do. Like I said, go to war in prayer because, and if your child is keeping being rebellious, let me tell you something. We love our children, but sometimes we got to give it to God. And, and that child can come back to you and say, Mama, I'm sorry. Or Mama, I'm grateful for you. But you becoming an enemy does not make your child want to come back to you and say, Mama, I love you. Or Mama, I forgive you. It makes her want to say she is the enemy. I want to be against her forever, you know? So think about that guy. Okay. Um, Think about, I know we switch your subject. Think about customer service. <laughs> because mm -hmm. this food is good, but like I said. It really was a customer service. It, nothing sets your business aside but customer service. You can go anywhere and get a hot dog, but I'm going to go with the customer service is good. Mm 
<laughs> and this place literally got so much business. Yeah. I don't even know the name of it. I just know the whole city talks about it. Mmm. Oh. Got it. For Cindy's Chronicles shirts. Cindy's Chronicles. Mmm. 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 I should open a snowball stand, huh? That's something I've been wanting to do. I wanted to do that since I was like a little girl in elementary school. And Ever since I went to track meets and stuff. No, I'm sure they make so much money. Uh -huh. You could just drive it anywhere, have a stand like that. You know what they make so much money? You want to know the funniest thing ever? Hmm. Nick, my daughter wanted to open a snowball stand too. Y'all yeah, know I used to do hair when I was young. My daughter grew up and wanted to do hair. Ain't that the weirdest thing ever? It's not because y'all act just like uh -huh. have some more peppers. Or you want some more cheese? Yeah. Let's see. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to someone. I'm not bashing anybody. I just don't want to see this on my timeline again, especially something new. I can understand the people who already made a mistake. But let's try to encourage our young girls. Let's try to give these situations to God. Let's not bring it to the internet. Okay? Thank y'all so much and y'all have an amazing day. Mwah!